Sapnin Troops, Struxon here today with a brand new video and today I have got s and God Spots on Backlot for you guys to watch. Now a lot of these spots are going to be similar to ones that you've seen on like COD4 or MWR sort of Backlot spots but obviously the dynamic of the map's kind of changed with a few added features like doors etc. So there is definitely new spots that you will learn in this video. There's a couple of really neat ones as well and a couple of nice plant spots as well. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video guys, please make sure you drop a like and please comment down below let me know what you think. Okay, let's get right into the video. Right Troops, gonna kick off the video with a bomb site. Now obviously it's quite confined and it's inside, so there is like very limited spots you can use, but some of the best ones are just planted on the front of the bomb. So one that I like to do is plant it on the right hand corner like so. And get it planted. Should have really sped this up in the actual plant time in hindsight, didn't think about that. And ideally you'll have a teammate already up and broken, but I'll just show you what the angle is like for you. You could get here in a 1v1 and go any way you want, but obviously you don't want to ninja it, so ideally you've got a teammate, but if not, no worries. If you can get here, then you pretty much won the round by yourself. And you can see the bomb perfectly right there. You can lie down like so and watch it. You can even just camp up here, kind of watch about, check it every 7 seconds. Even just easier, like, camping like so. So yeah, that's the first spot that I'm going to show you is on it. Right lads, so the next spot I'm going to show you on a bomb is just on the front right hand corner, just like so. You just We're plant it like that, I'm not going to wait the whole time because I forgot to actually change the timer down. But if you can have a teammate up in the middle building, or if you can get here yourself, then that's ideal. You can see the right hand side of the bomb from second story like so. But even better if you can get to it, go up top third, and you can get a perfect sight on the bomb. It's actually a clearer sight for the whole front edge of that. Um, obviously you're a wee bit exposed up here, but if you lie down and just maybe like pick up every 7 seconds or something just to make sure he's not on it, it's a really good spot for A-Bomb. Right, so another one of my favourite spots on A-Bomb, guys, you can also use it on defence as well, is just sitting right in this left hand corner here. Okay, so if you've got the bomb planted, you can sit in this uh, corner here, assuming he's not in the building. You can see the whole cross from this bit over here just by sitting like that, and you're hidden from the guys that are coming to your left, and maybe just sort of pre-aim it and just sort of watch that right hand side as you're doing it. If you want to play a little bit more safe, guys, you can actually see it from up here as well in this wee building, so they, there's no chance of them actually checking that corner there. You can just sit back here like that watch the doorway watch them cross like so and should be having a free kill in the back if they run from there right moving on to b bomb troops obviously this is quite a hidden bomb site now as well because they've added in this wall now some people like to sit in like the obvious spots this one's quite good just for sitting like so you can watch anyone cross just gotta be careful like someone jumping down and mantling over and um, but they kind of don't expect you just lying down on the grass there and obviously there's a door there if you're lying down you're covered by the bomb and you hear it you can just jump up and shoot them like so but the spot i'm going to show you is is just planting it on the right hand side of the bomb like so i'll plant this one just so as you can see the bomb when i get there uh, quickly. Right, first one I can show you is, is in top 10 like so. You can just lie down here, aim at the ladder, they're not going to come from anywhere else. You can just jump up and check it real quickly. Other than that, the other spot I can show you, oh, and get out onto it quickly. Ah, messed it up. Go the long way. All the way through middle broken, middle broken, middle building, up the ladder. And you can see the bomb right there like that. Sometimes you come over to the left side, you can see a clearer picture. Just check it every so often again, you're quite exposed. Um, so this building is really important on the whole map, guys. But yeah, that's a couple of decent plant spots for you. Let's move on to some god spots. Right troops, we're going to move on to some god spots now, so I'm going to show you some really basic ones and then some that you definitely will not know about, which will be really useful. Okay, so off the break, if you're on offense, a lot of people like to stand on this bin and aim over like this. Watch top 10, just watch over here, watch if anyone goes in that sort of wee heady bit on the rock there. But you're so exposed on top of this bin, always come on top of these white barrels. That's just one thing that I see a lot of people doing going on here instead of here. You're much more covered this way, you can't get shot from top construction like you can if you're up here. Right here is a decent enough spot, you're covered more and you can see just as much as that spot there. Another useful spot whilst I'm here guys is if you've got a teammate that's planted B-bomb, he's got it planted, he's maybe camp camping top broken or something, oh wrong door, you peek open this left door like so and you can watch the whole cross so you can literally stay hidden from everywhere and just call out if someone actually crosses towards the bomb for your teammate to check it. You can also play it in a 1v1 as well once you see them cross. You can like run up and try shoot them off the bomb, whatever, or if it's planted in that spot I showed you before, climb up top third. Really neat we spot that, so yeah, try those out. Right troops, this next spot I'm going to show you is going to take a wee bit of practice to get into, but if you can nail it first time, it is a really useful spot for you to go into. What you're going to do is you want to straight jump onto this sort of window ledge here, try aim for the left hand corner of it there. You want to stand on the handrail of the stairs, you want to run up, and you want to jump, and land it like so, right? So you can watch all of mid, you can watch the left hand side here, 
and you can see top middle building right only problem is if you look too far to the right you are going to fall but it is a useful spot for watching the flank like you've seen there if you aim too far to the right anywhere sort of past the window you're going to fall and um, i'll show you another ledge spot similar to that just now two seconds so another wee ledge spot I'm going to show you is, guys is by top 10 over here. Once again, it's one of these ones where if you look too far one way, you will fall off. But it can be quite cool and it is quite useful to do it. So what you're going to do is you want to jump on this sort of left hand ledge there from here. This one's much easier to get into. Like so, and you can watch the whole flank. You can watch them go through car park. You can watch them go there. You can even crouch and just watch them cunt underneath you. Again, if you turn too far to the right, you're going to fall like so. But it's quite useful if you're guarding B-bomb. If you've got it planted, you've got a teammate watching your back or watching mid. You can just climb up here and just jump into it like so. Right troops, moving on to defence now, I'm going to show you some of my best spots. So kicking it off with B, one of the most simple ones I like to do is jump on top of this car, jump on top like that, on this roof, and you can see all of B-bomb. You can basically see if anyone crosses to it, they can't get to B-bomb without you seeing them and at least getting them weak. So you can see the top stairs, you can see across here, you can see this wee hole in the wall or top 10. Watch it, shoot them, just make sure there's no one coming behind you. A, you have a teammate somewhere in there, have a guy garage maybe, just make sure they're not coming through. That's a really just neat and sort of really simplistic spot to use. Another one I used to use back in like the COD 4 MWR days was sitting here. You actually used to be, the car used to be higher so you could see through that window. But if you just move back a wee bit, you can kind of just see it like from behind the car here. Just sort of sit. You can even just head glitch it if you want. Just kind of camp like that. You can watch top. You can see them cross through the windows through here. See if anyone comes there. Once again, just make sure no one comes window or from round A side. Right, another neat wee spot I can show you is, guys, it's just right off spawn on defence as well. Quite often they have a guy going top green or top taxi. If you've got a sniper or a red dot M4, you can actually see the two windows from all the way back here. It makes it harder for you to see because obviously you've got that thing in the way for them. So they can only see your head. Sometimes they don't even see it. But you can get some picks off. Another neat wee spot is over here. Jump on top of these white barrels. Perfect head glitch to counter the other one that I showed you before. See anyone coming B Street. See anyone coming top like that. See anyone coming third. If you want to crouch, you can see the windows perfectly, but it's another neat wee spot for you to try out. Once again, guys, because I haven't done nade spots yet, I'll show you, like, one nade. Most people nade over the top of this sort of, like, clothesline thing, and it hits that car and blows up, which can be useful. But if you've got even more than one of you on the team, try nade over just past the satellite to the right of it over there, because I'll try to show you where exactly that hits. Jump and throw it, Kobe that shit, and you'll see it lands right there on the sort of exit point of where they're going to be rushing A. So it slows them right down, so if anything, it makes them weak. And you can get into A and camp in the building, anywhere around here, and try and get the picks. Right, troops, people sometimes forget these sort of spots on defense, because it's obviously quite exposed. But if you can get a teammate up top tin or top broken, just sort of watching this sort of middle area here. There's a few neat wee spots out front construction that you can get to, assuming you have someone watching the back door in case they're not already in A. One spot I like to use, I like to just lie down behind these blocks here, shoot them like that. You are a bit exposed to, like, top window and top broken, but if you've got someone watching that, you should be all right. You can lie down here and sound whore, have someone watch here, watch your middle door. Even like more sort of confusing for the enemy team if you lie down here, watching this spot, they sort of run out and you can shoot them up like so. Right, another couple of neat wee tricks for you guys. One thing you can do, if you can get here quickly, if there's no nades coming over, look up in the sky, see if there's nades coming. You can just try and avoid this tank, that sort of car. Jump up this tank, you can shoot them up here. Another thing you can do is if you run, jump onto the wall and you want to run until you bump like so and then jump onto that front ledge it's a really good spot for watching mid door and watching the cross here if you can get there quick enough right troops last little trick i'm going to show you guys i was debating even putting this in the video but i thought you know what, it might be useful it might actually help one person even in one game and if so then that works for me so if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to get to mid and you're like here maybe there's a guy shooting at you here or something you're trying to get away you haven't got anywhere you can go you're trapped or you want to just get through without smashing doors open like that you can jump on top of this plant pot strafe jump and get over the fence like so it's a really easy wee spot so if you get here you can just jump up and climb over like so Right troops, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support I've been getting. I hope you did learn something new. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know what spot you think was thought was the best. Um, if you've got any other ideas for videos, guys, please comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see, anything you'd like to learn. Um, just want to give a quick Monta shout out for the 500 subs, man. Um, I've already surpassed that. I'm on 540, so we're coming up on 600 now um, since the last time I uploaded a video. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all that. Like I said before, guys, if you could like the video, if you could comment down below, 
below and if you could subscribe it means a lot turn the notification sign on the wee bell beside the subscription button make sure you get up a uh, notification every time i upload a video just as i'm murdering that outro but yeah guys have a great day thank you so much and i will see you in the next one ciao ciao